Hello again. This, we were looking online and we found some shrimp po' boys. So I decided to put my own little twist on it. So we weren't going to do breading on it, but we decided to. So I just took some flour and some chili powder and some Cajun seasoning and mixed it through with, uh, with a whisk into the flour. And then I've got some oil, which is really freaking hot. <laughs> we just tested it earlier and it exploded everywhere. Um, that's been on the stove heating up. Hopefully it doesn't explode when I throw the shrimp in. I've got about two pounds of shrimp, which I highly recommend just buying it without the shells and deveined because my fingers are killing me. Um, and then for the sauce, it asked for like a I don't know, it was a weird kind of sauce, but we're just going to put on a little twist on this. We've got just regular mayonnaise. We're going to do about uh, half a cup to a cup of mayonnaise. Probably a cup because I've got um, two pounds of shrimp. And we're going to add the roasted red peppers. And we're also going to do some dried... Um, what the hell are those? Sun uh, dried sun -dried, the sun-dried tomatoes. And in there we're also going to add a little bit more of the Cajun seasoning. And... We're going to put in a little bit of parsley and some lime juice to kind of give it a little bit of a, a citrusy flavor. So I'm going to get started. Um, oh, we're also, I just bought some regular, these were uh, actual hamburger buns, or hot dog buns <laughs> at, uh, at Bash's. They were made, handmade, they do all their, their bread handmade, so that's usually where I get my bread. And then I'm just going to finish it off with just some shredded lettuce. So I'm going to get started on the frying. All right, so this is our first attempt. The cool thing about shrimp is they're already pretty much wet naturally, so you really don't need to put them in a dredge unless you want to. So I just put them in here dry. I'll just drop the shrimp in, try to put it back up. Probably get a lot of backfire while well, it's shooting up at you, so be careful. You have to drop it in slowly, don't just toss it in so you don't splash it everywhere. Ow. They're not going to be super breaded because it's just flour. I have a feeling it's going to be freaking awesome because I'm making it. <laughs> so yeah, you're really not going to get a, a really strong batter on it, but if you look at it, can you zoom in baby? It's got a little bit of a crunchy top to it. I mean, I can, it's pretty tough. So it's going to be nice and crunchy, which is what you want when you're having a po' boy. So this is close. This is pretty much the finished product. I mean, it's not going to be so really hard. It's still going to have a nice, good texture to it. But it won't be like the super breaded, fatty stuff that you get at most restaurants. Again, depends on how you want them. They're, they still have a little bit of a crisp to them from the flour, but they're going to be nice and easy to eat. So first I'm going to start off with actually just seasoning the shrimp themselves. Just going to use a bit of Cajun seasoning. I would probably say two to three tablespoons maybe, depending on how much shrimp you have. I'm going to add in about two pinchfuls of parsley. You can use dried or fresh. And then we're going to add in the roasted red peppers and the freaking dried tomatoes, whatever the hell they are, some dried tomatoes. Hmm. Okay. And then we are going to add in a full cup of regular mayonnaise. Again, depending on how much shrimp you use. And one technique I've seen before for getting a lot more juice out of the lime is actually roll it on a surface back and forth with your hand with pressure. And it starts to soften it up. Once it gets softened up, that's when it's good to cut it. 
and juice it in. These are some dry ass limes. And it's okay if you get little pieces of the the lime in there. It'll actually add more flavor to it. So I'm gonna mix that up. If you don't like mayonnaise, you could probably put maybe some ranch dressing or something else. Maybe you, I mean I would try ranch. That would probably be another good backup to it. Also, I was going to do it, but I didn't have the time to do it. You could also put in, to add another piece of like meat to it, um, fry up some bacon and put and chop it all up. I love bacon. You put bacon on anything, it makes it taste better. So we'll test the sauce. And it is amazing. So we got our, our bun that I just cut in half. Shrimp in. Oops, I'm making a mess. I would say stack it as high as you can. And then just for a little bit of heat, you could use Frank's Red Hot. Put that shit on everything. <laughs> <laughs> or Louisiana. We put Louisiana on everything. Our, our breakfast. Gives a nice little kick to it. Just a little bit. You don't want to put too much because it's going to overwhelm everything. And then, I hate chopping lettuce, so I just bought some regular shredded lettuce, which works just the same. And try and close it, probably won't be able to, that's okay, because you're going to eat it anyways. So that is my Lime Cajun Shrimp Po' Boy. I hope you enjoy it.